friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hasma and you're watching Preston Every Design. So in today's video, we are going to be making candlesticks galore. All of these candle stands will be available for purchase at PrestonEveryDesign.com, which I'll have also linked in the description below. So without further ado, let's take a look. Looking to fill an entire collection on my website, I thought that volume would be really important. So I started off by going to my local thrift store and I thrifted these candle stands here. The total investment for these was $14. I then came back home and I went through my stash and tried to locate any other Lone Ranger candle stands that I've been hanging around that I could either group together or add to this collection so that I can knock them all out in one day. Okay, I've gathered all the candlesticks that were in my stash plus the ones that I purchased today and all together I think I'll be able to have a nice collection for the website. I'm going to pair of course these together. These are not uh, these are not a set but I know I can pair those together and even these I can pair it with another one so that I can do sets. And so these are spindles, but they're already cut and ready to go. I know I can just put some wood rounds on top of those. And these just need to be cleaned up. And I really like these. Uh, I might end up keeping those for myself. Um, so we'll see. But overall, I think this would be a good um, replenish of the collection on the website. And I think it will be a good way for me to knock some things out. I mean, they look good all like this as is, but of course... They have to get transformed as part of the game, right? Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this. For the very first set, we are keeping this very simple. I'm just going to use a DIY apothecary and then I'm going to white wax this. Next, I have this uh, Lone Ranger candle stand that I painted gray using the IOD mold, but I never really liked how it turned out. So I think um, if I do the apothecary, it would look much better against that dark wood top. For this next set, I'm going to group these together and sell them as a pair. Now I'm starting off by removing the tags at the bottom. Now I had trouble so I had to pull out my heating gun and my Cricut spatula and then that worked just fine. Now I do want to paint these green but I started off using the DIY Gypsy Green and even though I love green, this shade just looked a little too dark on these sticks. So I am going to go ahead and mix a little bit of white in it just to tone it down a tad bit and I think it turned out great after that. to this spindle that was left over from the fireplace uh, mentor build project if you missed it I'll be sure to link it for you so I'm just putting a wood round on it 
I'm going to use some wood glue and my bright nailer to reinforce it. After that, I will just give it a coat of paint, do a little distressing and that will be finished. Now since I already have the glue and the gun out, I'm going to go ahead and do the wood rounds for these spindles here and just create a pair of candlesticks for that. Okay, next we have about five candle stands that need to get painted white. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm using the Deco Art Chalk Paint from Home Depot. However, I will tell you, it doesn't give the best coverage. It took about three coats for me to get full coverage on this black candle stand. Okay, now all the painting is done and everything is dry, it is time to put finishing touches. I'm going to be doing clear wax or white wax from all of these. I'm trying to keep this process really simple and get the most work done in the least amount of time. So I'm starting off with a clear wax on both of these green ones and then after that I'll go over with white wax and I'll wipe some of it back and just let the details remain. Now moving on to all the white and the white ones are going to get a little bit of distressing and then some clear wax and that will be all. And finally, we are moving on to these blue ones and these are going to also get clear wax, white wax, and that will be all. And this will be done and all these candle stands will get photographed and then listed on the website.
thank you so much for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed this video you can find all of these items at prestonerverydesign.com see you next time tell me what what you wanna do